Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and in today's video we'll talk about the iPhone 7 on the iOS 14.3 developer beta 3. So Apple rolled out this firmware a few hours ago. I dropped my impressions video so you can watch by clicking here up in the iCard here or here. I will talk about everything in this video what you that you should upgrade your device to this firmware or not. So of course if you if you have this device as a primary device you know what I would say just stay away from beta especially on iPhone 7 I am saying this because iPhone 7 is as you all know it is a really old device and uh, if you are an iPhone 6s user or iPhone 7 user I would say just don't don't update your device to this firmware because the older your device gets the harder it the system gets to process the new features and new firmware and hence you will be you will be suffering with more and more bugs in betas on the older devices so it's been few hours i have been using i i, I just shifted this uh, my primary sim card to this device and after using it for some time uh, it is of course it is much better than the beta 2 i have noticed this it is actually a bit better than beta 2 in terms of performance but uh, but the, there are some the some bugs still present in this firmware which i think will be uh, will be gone in the gold master variant which will be a uh, most probably the, we won't be seeing beta 4 I think this is my perspective uh, I will be dropping up another video uh, talking about this but of course I'm uh, I'm sharing my small perspective in this video I don't think Apple will release a beta 4 Apple will straight away release the gold master after this because uh, it is feeling really really good firmware on my other devices iPhone 10s iPhone 11 Pro Max iPhone 11 iPhone 10r I'm cooking that videos too so <laughs> all right I'm cooking a lot of videos for you all so uh, you guys can turn on notifications and uh, on all those devices it's spoiler alert all those devices are performing really awesome in beta 3 so you guys if, if you are watching this on other device iphone 10 is or 11 um, I, I'm, I'm giving a small spoiler alert uh, that it is running really awesome there are just some bugs which I will discuss on that video but it is of course it's not that big big of a deal so iPhone 7 users I would say stay away from iOS 14.3 beta 3 right now because of course it is the not not in being 24 hours that I have installed it on my device I will be coming up with a follow-up after some days so you can turn on notification if you are an iPhone 7 user and you want to update your device to this firmware and talking about features I have not got any new features discovered on the iPhone 7 till now and talking about the storage you know what I uh, this device freed up around 500 MBs after updating so actually if if you if I, if you are on beta 1 if you are already on beta 1 i would say you can of course you can go on and download the beta 3 because of course uh, now that you are already on beta firmware you can uh, you can download it man of course because you have already made some mistakes uh, you can't go back now uh, i mean you can apple is still signing the iu 14.2 uh, you can go back I, uh, if you want I will make a video on that how to downgrade your iPhone 7 to iOS 14.3 if you are on beta 1 or 2 but uh, if you are on already beta 1 or 2 and you don't want anything anything complicated you don't want your PC uh, to connect your PC to iTunes and all that thing I would say just uh, download the beta 3 on iPhone 7 it is working good of course there are some bugs but you can live if you can live with it and it's not your primary device I would say you can live with this device for some time as uh, I, this is not as I'm, I'm living with this device there are some bugs but all right it's good and now talking about the one bug which was un which is so annoying and I was also getting annoyed by the bug is the lock screen bug it is now fixed yeah look at this yo it's fixed Finally, this is what this was the bug which was annoying many people including me if I would just use touch ID look here There is no there is no lag and I, And this is so good. There is no lag. Yeah, touch ID my touch ID is not working properly So I don't know that but yeah, there is no lag So if you if you want to get rid of the lock screen lag I would say you can download this on your secondary device if, if iPhone 7 is your secondary or third device so you can download it on that let's talk about the final verdict what what score i would give this out of 10 in terms of performance so in terms of performance i would give this a solid 6 out of 10 yeah it's a solid 6 out of 10 because it is a really old device as you know and 6 out of 10 in terms of performance is actually not bad 
not bad for a four five years old device <laughs> there are some bugs in terms of twitter there are some bugs uh, while typing in uh, keyboard except that there is no bugs uh, i mean yeah that, that those bugs are really big but all right if you can live with that it's good it's good with that uh, and the keyboard bug was appearing with appearing on my device sometimes where I, if i would do it on his own camera let me see Oh, all right right now it's good but uh, earlier what was happening is the keyboard was, in, was invisible which all almost happened on i think all devices if i'm wrong you can you guys can correct me in the comments below i can i, I love to talk with you all so peace out that's for today's video and if you want to download this on your device i would say go ahead and download it if you are already on beta 1 or 2 peace out and i'll meet you all in the very next episode